is Ann Hayes, and I uh, started teaching um, in 1972 in West Vancouver, moved out to Langley in 1979. I was at Langley Secondary uh, for several years and then up to the board office for a year. And then I started here in uh, 1983, I think it was, and retired uh, in 2009, so 26 years here at DW Poppy. 1991, long time ago. Uh, uh, I came here because I wanted to coach volleyball, and she was uh, Madam Volleyball. She was uh, big, big, big in the sport, huge motivator of kids. Uh, that was her whole, whole gig, um, a model. Next year when Ann showed up, uh, I mean, she was just a force, right? Like she she took that team that was pretty good, skilled bunch of athletes and went far very, very quickly. And so um, I don't know where the volleyball program, the success of that just like exploded. Well, one of Ann's biggest strengths was she was an organizer. She did a, a, a lot of things behind the scenes to make things go. It, for the whole district and, and especially for the school obviously. She, she was involved in being a coordinator for, for volleyball for the Fraser Valley, for Langley, just about her whole career. She organized uh, two provincial championships here in our, in our gym which were just massive events and, and really built volleyball here at Poppy. She worked with other coaches in Langley to help build their programs. Uh, Chris Weiger could, could attest to that. Um, that built Brookswood into a bit of a, a rival for us, but it was a great rivalry to have that. Um, uh, her impact in volleyball especially is, is province-wide. Well, first of all, I love teaching, and I think the coaching was an extension of, of teaching. Um, I enjoyed it at, at growing up. My parents were always involved and just giving kids uh, the experience and fun and good memories that I enjoyed when I was in high school. Poppy Pride would be her legacy. Uh, I mean, every day Anne had a shirt or jacket on that said Poppy on it. I mean, she just left this legacy of expectation of excellence, but at the same time, um, making sure no kid was left behind. She built uh, volleyball into the number one participation sport in the school. There were more kids playing volleyball at, at, at one time than, than any other sport uh, in the school, which is a real testament to her work to do that. The first lesson that, um, that, that she showed me through her own action was simply how to work incredibly, incredibly hard. And how, and, and how to work hard for things that you're passionate about. There were entire seasons that um, you know, I can remember her leaving before the sun came up to, to hit the pool um, with my sister for swim practice. Then she'd go work a full day as a counselor at the school, already a long day when that finished. And then that's when um, coaching at, at, at Poppy would um, begin. She'd go in first coaching her junior girls team in volleyball, then she'd come over to support one of my practices in the court next door, and then after all of that, she would go with me into the side gym and, and toss volleyballs for me to set for another hour. And we'd head home around 8 or 9 p.m. This wasn't just some incredibly busy period that happened once for you know a few weeks. This was her MO. I just learned you know, this is what you do to be successful and, 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 and push yourself in things that you really care about and enjoy. I had my bus driver's license, so Ann said, hey, Roy, can you drive us down to the bus? We're going to this tournament in Vancouver with the girls. And I was like, yeah, sure. And we actually stayed at her mom and dad's house in Vancouver. They had this huge house by the river, this unbelievable view. And my parents loved it and did the, you know, the dining room table like this and did a big breakfast for them all. Girls played in a tournament, and we met her. Anne's brother lives in Vancouver, so we met the brother, and we went to his house, and um, she treated those kids like her own. I saw Anne just go out of her way to do things for her teams, and, and my sister and I, um, as a coach, which I now see are just totally extraordinary. It was just amazing to see her enthusiasm. We took those kids to uh, a high school football game, 
and there was like 10,000 people at this game, and those girls, those volleyball kids, their eyes were just huge. They couldn't believe the passion behind um, high school sports in the States. And so for them, I mean, she changed those kids' whole perspective on sports. It was, it was spectacular. One of, the, one of the most important things she, she did was she wanted to uh, get volleyball going to a, a great degree, and she recruited Greg Denner. And, and Greg came in and, and was involved for her, I don't know, 18 years after she got her involved. In <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell you that story, actually. Uh, we were uh, going to, I was her assistant coach. She asked to have an assistant coach for the senior girls. And that team uh, made the provincials. So the provincials were in Vanderhoof. That afternoon, Anne arrives. We go back to the hotel and she says, oh, and by the way, there's no room for you in this hotel. And I said, oh, really? She said, but we have a room for you down the road. And it was this, above this pub, there was a uh, mattress on the floor, light bulb hanging from the ceiling. All night long, the, the, the music's blaring. It was a disaster. I, it, it was one of the worst experiences of my coaching career. When we got back, I said to her, okay, you're no longer the head coach, you're done. And, and that's when I started head coaching the senior girls. So this was all part of the plan for I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> we were always fundraising for something. One of my best schemes and ideas to raise money was doing a, a banana split when I was at LSS. A gutter company to, to loan us some brand new gutters, suppliers to supply chocolate syrup. Uh, she got bananas. I had a friend at Dairyland who gave us the ice cream. Uh, we filled all of the gutters with all this ice cream and bananas and syrup, the kids w were able to buy a foot of a gutter and eat out of the trough. Every time you think of Anne, she's got this unbridled enthusiasm and positivity, and everything's about celebration. And she used to run a fundraiser for volleyball, the talent night, and she talked uh, Aubrey Fahrenholtz and John Campbell and Russ Furs and myself. And we came as the village people and so we did YMCA and, and we did Sunny and Cher. Uh, I got you, babe. It, it may have uh, uh, brought down the room, but uh, I was utterly humiliated. It's not my thing to do. So that's probably my funniest and worst memory of Anne. That's what she does. And, and she loves these things. To ease on down the road with uh, all my talented teacher friends. You know, kids singing and kids juggling and kids playing musical instruments. But everything she did was um, just so well organized and so positive and had this ripple effect that you took such pride in your kids and pride in your building and pride in your staff. Like she just, she just had that powerful influence. Right? I guess all the fun of it was us practicing after hours for all of that. Those things uh, all enrich my teaching experience, and I'm hoping the people that I work with, they're great memories for me. It's Anne's wisdom with people that I, I really believe is her greatest strength. It's her, um, it's her ability to deal with those angry parents when, when their kid's not getting enough playing time, um, to deal with other coaches and, um, and, and the needs of kids. Even at, like as a counselor, um, Anne did some unbelievable stuff. And I remember uh, she used to do this thing like it was like a little memory box, uh, what are they, like a time capsule. And so when the kids came in grade eight, she would contact every kid's parent and collect stuff, little documents, little notes, little cards that their parents would write to kids. And then she saved all that stuff for five years. She would give these kids these envelopes of, of stuff that had been collected five years previously and I mean a lot of those kids so much their lives had changed obviously and to see those kids reaction when they saw stuff from five years ago it was it was overwhelming. She's probably way ahead of her time in terms of the the mental aspect of, of sports you know we hear so much about the the mental part of the game now but Anne always addressed that and um, and it's something that really rubbed off on me. I, I really tried to attend to those that mental aspect of the game um, not just 
uh, mental toughness, but also the mental fragile part of, of, of human beings and, and so on. And she was doing that right from the very beginning with kids. I'm most proud of uh, the number of students that we were able to be involved in sports. To me, it uh, enriches uh, your life, the life of the kids and the life of the school. Uh, if you're involved in all of the activities, for a lot of students, it's a, a safe place to go to. There may be stresses at home, and recently we've experienced a lot of uh, turmoil in our society, and, and um, school and sports gives a great outlet uh, for students, and you have an opportunity to give them direction. They can connect not only with sports, but also with art and music. I think they're a very, very uh, important uh, parts of our school system. Yeah, just a huge thank you to her and her family for, for uh, all the love and, and respect they've given to Lani and to me. Congratulations. I mean, I was fortunate to, both Maureen and I are fortunate to uh, become friends with Ann and Jerry and spend time in the boat and go golfing and have barbecues at their place. And the family person at the same time, she was a school person. She realized the importance of, of, of being involved in in athletics and being involved in, in the school and the school culture and, and she contributed to it in a very large way to the culture of the school which was which was tremendous at the time. Just to see someone be that thoughtful uh, who's always got someone else uh, in the front of their brain uh, to me is remarkable so and it's a pleasure thank you very much. That I had a great career that allowed me to do a lot with my kids and if I were to say anything to to any other teachers or parents if you can be involved with your kids uh, uh, driving them to events uh, helping out cheering uh, you know what your kids are doing uh, you're investing in in their future and in other kids future and that's why I guess I enjoyed sports and working with kids because that is our future.